beach towels into the breeze. Ease our backs into the sand, close our eyes, and ask the sun to stay out just a little bit longer. And we don't run when the heat gets stronger, we just lather our skin with sunscreen, close our eyes again, and drift off into a silent sleep, knowing we're protected from whatever else the day might bring. This protection is beautiful. She asks me if she's beautiful, every Friday night. Standing at the foot of the stairs, she asks me if she looks alright, and if only she could see what I see through my eyes. How the flowers turn their face to her stride. How the rainbow for smiles enough to overcast the skies, I tell her she's beautiful. And I mean it. Cause she's been flipping through magazines again, so it's gonna be hard for her to see it, but I see it. I know it. The same way I know the metal still shines behind the rust, I know her beauty lingers. Like the band of skin still holding her natural skin tone behind the diamond ring on her finger, I know her beauty lingers. Behind stilettos and name brand clothes, salon haircuts and makeup, I ask her, do you know why they call it makeup? Because too much of it makes you make up lies about who you really are and you already shine brighter than any star you can see it if the city would only turn its lights off for once but it seems the world has forgotten where the shine should really come from we're thinking outside in instead of inside out baby that was some of that lipstick off your mouth that makes my cheeks feel greasy some days she doesn't believe me those days when she's at her worst when nothing else hurts more than her reflection staring back at her every tear drips like chinese torture face down in the aftermath her confidence shattered into a pile of broken mortar she is left defenseless while we make battlefields out of skin silicone and collagen being buried beneath like landmines we're recruiting girls as young as nine putting them through boot camps of crash diets and bulimia using revlon for war paint gucci for body armor coach persis as well Weapons of mass distribution. Beauty versus vanity, and vanity is slicing beauty up her sternum to expose her flaws for the rest of the world to gawk and laugh at. If you think I'm taking that metaphor a little to the extreme, ask yourselves how many times we've cut down others for not meeting our superficial expectations. Yesterday, I saw a 14 year old girl wearing a skirt shorter than my father's ambition. And I can just imagine that while she powders her face in the bathroom, downstairs on the TV, pedophiles are getting caught staring stupid into the hidden cameras of Dateline NBC. I wish I could tell her I'm sorry. I'm sorry we let you down. I promise you can return to slumber parties and gossiping about boys when the world decides to finally come around. I am not self-proclaimed righteous. In fact, I've stared at more cleavage than I can count. But if there's any glimpse of any honesty left in me, then let this poem be the way that honesty should sound you're beautiful you're beautiful and i'll repeat it until it saves you until you learn you can spend an entire lifetime in the bathroom but it will never compare to how perfect you already are exactly the way god made you so let the flowers turn their face to your radiance let your heartbeat pulsate to your skin marvel at your magnificence in the mirror spin then do it again beauty is nothing more than confidence and vanity is nothing more than shackles and love Love. love will never equal a man whose knees are scraped with carpet burns From trying to run out your door with his pants around his ankles Wear your smile like a sundress, wear your mystique like sunscreen To protect yourself from being burned by the sheer ugliness of beauty magazines Because the sun is shining and the sunscreen will help you see That the protection will always be beautiful Just as you will always be beautiful, you will always be beautiful